ultimately won, won this game, you think? Free throw shooting for you guys? Um, best part of uh, capitalizing the free throw. Um, you need those going down the streets and staying in. I think we were perfect from it, so, uh, you know, that's a good to have on the road for success. That's going to the mic in front of you. Did both of you guys speak to um, coming back after they had taken a five point lead late in the second half? Uh, what happened during that stretch, and then what this means for your um, postseason? Well, we just had to uh, stay poised, and we have been there before we've been down, we've been up. We just had to make plays to uh, get us where we need to be. You know, we ain't worried about postseason, we just worried about Georgia Saturday. Cody, can you speak to just how important this could be if you end up getting some postseason? Uh, same thing, uh, staying poised, uh, staying with each other, uh, you know, through adversity and everything. You know, we were about Georgia and our boy, we were about postseason. Cody, as the game went along, uh, Kentucky was driving a lot to the basket. How much do you think you guys sort of adjusted to that down the stretch and were waiting for it? Um, you know, uh, we knew that was part of the offense to attack, attack. You know, they're a good uh, rebounding team, so if they miss it, uh, you know, Willie and Julius uh, clean it up. And so that was our main focus. Uh, when they attack, uh, put a body on them, rebound, and uh, go the other way. What was the plan on the Harrisons and, and Young to make them drive into traffic and take those kind of four shots? I mean, what did you all want to do defensively against them? We wanted to keep them at the lane, but you, as you know, they, they're good players. You can't just, just stop them from being in the lane. You just have to play good D and have good help, and then not let them lob the ball up once we stop them. I'm sorry, guys. I couldn't hear your answer. What would you say? With you guys making free throws and Kentucky missing all the free throws, was the free throw difference the key in the game? Um, I say it was for us uh, and for them. Uh, they got tired, you know. You could tell, and they was going up there and missing. And um, you know, we was able to capitalize. And um, for us making our free throws, you know, that's uh, that's good and, and staying perfect at the line. You know, you need that and going in on a, a team like this and on the road to maintain. And so you know, that's what we were able to do. of regulation. I think you had the block, did you, on uh, Andrew Harrison's drive? What, what do you recall about that? Um, I just uh, <clears throat> was uh, watching the ball and standing with uh, my man, and then I seen him drive. And so, uh, you know, my first mindset was uh, that he wasn't going to pass. And so uh, when he brought it back up, I uh, timed it and uh, was able to get a uh, hand on Two things are crazy. One, how could you tell they were getting tired what told you he wasn't going to pass the ball on that last possession there that you're talking about? Um, you know, we, we do a lot of uh, wear and tear. You know? We knew that our depth was getting to them. They were doing a lot of uh, sub, you know, switching in and out. You could tell the guys were tired, and that's what we do. Uh, we run up and down, pushing on offense, we play fast on defense. And so uh, we knew that uh, the fatigue was there, and, um, just an only matter of time. And um, I just figured that he wasn't going to pass because of, the last play of the day, maybe three, uh, I want to say, you know. And I just figured he was going to go in his head down and try to make a play and win the game.